Power BI. Typically, there are two ways to create if statements, one being using DAX and the other using Power Query. The overall concepts are similar, however, the syntax differs. In this video, I'll explain the DAX syntax. Hi, I'm Pauline and I provide practical data skills for real-world analysis. In Power BI, in this table, I've set up some made-up data relating to film times at a cinema. To begin with, I'll show you an if-then statement and then I'll go on to build it up into an if-then-else statement. To begin with, I'd like to reduce the price of the ticket such that if the age classification is under 12, then the ticket price is reduced by 2. I'll add a calculated column to take the if statement. So across in my data section, I just click on my three dots to select a new column. I will call my new column concession and say it equals if open brackets, the value in the age classification column equals, and as the age classification is text, I do double quote marks and then put in under 12, close my quote marks. And this is the condition I'm looking to be satisfied or to use another term, the logical test. Then I put a comma. After the comma, I put in what I would like to happen if the condition is true, so if the age classification is under 12, and what I would like to happen is for my ticket price to be reduced by 2, so minus 2. And then I close my brackets, and that's my if-then statement. If I now add this concession column to my table, and change it such that it doesn't summarise, you can see in the concession column that the ticket price for the under 12s is eight. And all the other values are currently blank. Because in the, the if statement, we are saying evaluate this condition and if the condition is true, do this. And that's all we're seeing currently in our if statement. If it doesn't find true, then nothing happens. This statement can be built upon such that it becomes an if-then-else statement, such that the code becomes evaluate this condition and if true, do this, else, if false, do this. Note that the else section is optional hence why it was not shown in the concession example. This time, for the purpose of this example, we will set up a new column called price. So again, if I go across, new column, price, and say it equals, I will copy the code from the concession column. Then back in price, I will just say it equals, if the film's age classification is under 12, then reduce the ticket price by 2, or if the age classification is not under 12, then comma, I would like the ticket price to remain as is. So I just insert my ticket price value, which is in the column, ticket price, Make sure I have a closing bracket. If I now add the price column to my table, and again, I'm not looking to sum, so I will click don't summarize. You can see that this time, as the condition evaluated to false, the false part of the statement is executed. So to recap, if the condition evaluates to true, then the code in the true section 
of the if statement runs. However, if the condition evaluates to false, then the false part of the code executes. And remember, the false part is optional. However, if it's not there and the condition is not true, then nothing will happen with regards to the code. Note that in these examples, the if statements have been placed in calculated columns. However, you can also place if statements in measures. There is also more that you can do with if statements, such as add multiple conditions to the logic test aspect of the statement. You can also add another if statement inside this if statement, which is referred to as a nested if. And to do that, you would place the if statement in the false section. However, if you think that you might require a nested if, you should consider whether a switch statement might be more relevant. And I'll provide a link in this video's description to a video where I demonstrate a switch statement. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Check out my other resources in the description below and hit that subscribe button to hear more data, hints and tips. Thanks for watching.